Mudi mo ale de nge hayo matata hayo matata hayo mudi mo mudi mo ale de nge hayo matata Junior is an albino of seven years old now, but he has a problem of eyes. His eyes, even the skin, I have a skin problem, but the hospital told me I have to take him to the hospital every year for a skin problem so that they can check up the skin because they have high chances of skin cancer and the, the eyes. So it's how I, I deal with Junior. I started in, in a mainstream school. So I lost my vision in 2004, and then I was transferred to this school. After that, I went to do my degree in special education. I'm a friendly boy. Though. I'm friendly and I'm, I'm due respect. Hey, I'm respect and I'm a patient boy. But hey, sometimes I can get angry and sometimes I can overcome that angry. I lost my, my sight 11 years back, in 2011. When I, I, I woke up, ah, I just, hey, I don't, know what, I don't know what happened. So even that at the hospital, they advised me to take the letter to the teachers so that they can write it with big letters so that Junior can do well at school because I know my son is an intelligent somebody. Even where he came from, for the, from Smart Start English Medium, he was doing well. All those interviews, he's someone who is intelligent. Because he started when he was very young. Every, even he found a book or even for the brothers he took and read. So I, I, I say, hey, this guy, this guy, I have to look for man and take him to school because he just showed me when he was young. For he, so that he, he have an input for, for reading and doing things for, for education and take him to school. Domulifi is a, a school which offers facilities on visual impairment. Our country is implementing the policy on inclusive education. Hence, we do not only cater for those who are visually impairment, we even cater for other disabilities that we come across in our education system. They help them to be independent because we teach them those skills that will help them on their daily basis. Uh, this one, they have this special means of communication and like those ones we, who are in the mainstream. Remember our children, they use braille instead of uh, print. That is the difference. People, they talk about him with an albinism, but it's irritating. It's not taking their parents with those albinism. They just take him like, I don't know, but to me, Junior is a blessing. I would say that, yes, sometimes back, there used to be those stigmatizations. But nowadays, I think now people are getting very educated because even in the community, they are now accepted. I see majority of the people really being friendly and helping them, especially like crossing the road. When the cars are coming, they will stop for them when they see that they have this, because these are the canes are the ones which identify whether they are visually impairment or not. You no, know, this thing helped me. It can sometimes lead to, for me, can, me I can 
injured by other 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 objects that I, I that I couldn't I couldn't find using this during night. What I would say uh, regarding the education with visual impairment is that in the past, remember that we used to rely in those old ways of using styluses and hand frames, packings, brails. But nowadays we are finding that we have these digital gadgets who, which are making the learning very easy for our children, the assistive devices. It is so important because it saves time, uh, unlike using hand frame and stylus. And it allows me to write notes in the class and class, some class exercises. Or I'm just using the machine, as anyone can use his pencil or his pen. I want to, to encourage them all that disability is not an ability. Everyone is capable. We are, we are all capable in this world. We can do whatever we want. Some people living with disability are musicians. Some of them are the athletes. Some of them are, they are the teachers. But it's not a, a difficult thing to be that. Any, anything that you like in, the, in this world, you can do it. I'll, I would like the world to know that uh, these learners, they should be treated equally or should they, they should be given treatment or the equality to education as their peers. My dream for his future, I want him to be educated. I know when he's educated, he will give me everything because even now he's wishing everything for me. He's dreaming big. My junior is dreaming big. I feel junior is different to my kids because there's no, uh, uh, I don't have a kid that would dream like Junior when he was young. But Junior, he came with that dream, growing with the dream. Even now, he's still having a dream, but he's still young. If I can write a message to my son's future, I can say, Junior, just love yourself because God loves you. Love yourself. Don't care whatever they say about you. Love yourself, Junior. You are something to God. That's why he brings you in the world. You will present something in the world, Junior. Take care of yourself.